quickly and quietly. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Hush, Itumak. We'll just wait a little longer. Easy, Itumak. It's not him. Short version? I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now. That's what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone, but I know Whitewood when I see it. That should have been my first clue but I had to try something. The long version. Here we go. I'm from an island to the far south called Nasitok. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persok. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. But Persok's trail is cold, to say the least. That about sums it up. Then you have my sympathies. Hopefully you've got a better lead than I do. True enough. But first I should explain about the figure... Cute, isn't it? It belonged to Persok. Before he returned to the wheel, he left a splinter of his soul in it. Something to help us find him later. When I left Nasitok, it was completely dark inside. But as I've gotten closer to Persok, it's... I can tell you what I won't do again. Rely I was on my way out of the Balmarsh when I heard talk of a traveling mystic who could supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I... He thought he was being vague, but I know the area well enough to recognize that he meant this place. Right between Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. Why? You expect me to believe that? After the story I just told you? Fine. But if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. What are you talking about? What just happened? You realize I've got no coin to give you, even if I did believe you. And if this is your idea of a joke, you may be stuck with me for a while.
Defiance Bay, the city at the heart of the Deerwoods Revolution now seems on the brink of another. Refugees line the streets, homeless and hungry, displaced by Whiteone's legacy, hoping for relief within the city walls and finding none. Dissidents congregate to protest and to heckle, calling for an end to Anamancy and the ouster of their duke. The city's militiamen cast fearful looks as they patrol the streets, their hands trembling at the hilts of their weapons. The capital of a country that had not long ago incinerated a god now appears to be a spark away from sharing the deity's fate. Those walls surround the whole city? How do you do? The dozens. Pretty sure you won't find one among them who stood within a hundred miles of that bridge when the Godhammer went off. <laughs> 